Okay, I'm going to do a, a test run of the Zigzag Seed Cleaner here and walk you through uh, just the design and how it works. And hopefully this all makes sense. So this is the Zigzag Seed Cleaner here. I'm uh, basing, this is basically a design from realseeds.uk, I believe, a UK seed company. And it's a, it's, a, it's a very basic design and you can buy commercial versions of this as well. Uh, but this can be made, I've probably put about 15 to 20 hours into this and spent about maybe a hundred bucks. So a reasonable cost here, which, which hopefully is a, is a fairly good seed cleaner. That does not include the price of the vacuum, which I already had, which would add a couple hundred bucks to the price. So this is a, this is a seed cleaning mechanism based on suction or airflow. And so I've got the vacuum plugged into the top here, and it's going to create suction and draw um, air in through here. What I'm going to do is drop the seed into here. So as the seed falls through, it's going to bounce off these things, which is going to keep it in the center. And what's going to happen is the lighter seed is going to get drawn up into here. And then as it comes through this narrow passage and then goes into a bigger passage, the air pressure is going to drop. And instead of getting sucked up here, it gets actually drops down here. So it's a fairly basic design, but, uh, but the principle is... is, um, is um, also very simple actually. Um, the original design just had plexiglass screwed on top and what I've done is uh, built a frame uh, with hinges and latches and the reason being is you really need to be able to get into this machine and, and clean it between batches. That could be for uh, going from seed to seed and you don't want one seed uh, contaminating the next lot or if you need to sanitize it if you've got disease problems or, or you just have concerns you could get, could get in there uh, give it a bleach or something like that. I've got a bucket down here that's going to catch my good seed and then the, the lighter seed is going to fall through here. So the seed I'm going to test this with today is a, is a black oil sunflower seed and I use it for microgreens production and the reason I'm doing it is it's, a, it's an Italian seed and experience tells me when a black oil sunflower seed comes from Italy it has variable sized seed in it. And so when you're growing microgreens, what happens is you get some very mature microgreens and some very short ones. And that's not really what you want. You want a really consistent crop, so when you cut it, everything is uniform. This is a, a, a huge problem with Italian seed, and I sort of hum and haw every time. That's the only option available with our supplier. So what I'm going to do is use the suction here, and the heavier, better quality seed should fall through to here, and the lighter seed should get sucked up through here. The greater the level of, uh, of uh, suction I use, the, the more seed is going to go through. So what I'll do is I'll start with a fairly light suction, just enough so I can see seed starting to get sucked through, and then I can adjust that. Now different models can be adjusted in different ways. Right now, I actually have a, an adjustment, a suction adjustment right on the vacuum I have, uh, just coincidentally. So if I want to uh, increase or decrease the suction, I just have to slide a little uh, lever. Uh, other designs, what they have is they have a, like a, a, another hole cut in the back with a door on it. And as you open the door more, it reduces the suction because it's drawing in air from, from more, uh, a larger area. So I've got this design here, which I'll stick with for now. In a future design, I think having uh, flexibility with changing the suction on the vacuum combined with uh, being able to adjust it right on the machine is going to give you a little more... Um, a little more control over how the unit works. And one thing I've learned over the, the period of time of building this uh, and working on an office clipper to get it uh, back into running shape, a, an older model, is the machine is one thing and it takes time to get to learn how to use a seed cleaning machine. So that really is a skill in itself. And, and I did hours and hours with that clipper before I could really get it working well and, and find the right screens, the right rate and everything to clean carrot seed. So I don't expect this is going to be perfect right away. It, just like anything, it takes time to get to know it. So that's a pretty good overview. I'm going to uh, turn this on and let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm probably going to pop out of the screen here, but hopefully you can still hear me as I'm talking. So I've got it on low suction. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because uh, I know sunflowers are relatively heavy seed. In a better design, there would be a hopper on here, but I'm just going to pour it in for now. And I can feel suction. So I know things are working, so let's uh, see how she goes. Okay, so right away I see, uh, putting that first bit through, nothing's coming through, so I'm going to turn this way up. Right. I can really 
can feel that. Let's see how she goes. And you can see the lighter seed falling into there. That full suction, I've got a little bit of seed in there, and I will take a look out to see how it compares. Um, and one of the things I'll mention now is, is while doing this, I, I opened this opening here uh, to be quite large. It's a, it's a little bigger than that. And I did notice the suction quality went way down. So I, I can actually adjust that. I've got a, this is like a vacuum um, adapter, which if I put this in here, will really reduce that, that space. Uh, the reason I don't like this is because with a bigger seed, it's going to get caught in there and it's not going to flow right through. So there are some design things here I need to work on. But I'm going to stick this in here for now and see how it does, if it does make a difference. And I'll just try to pour the seed through a little slower. So let's get this going again. Much more speed going through there now. So you can see from that when I when I made the uh, entrance a little smaller here, uh, it seemed to work a little better. And I could actually screw this down, which would really make that seal even better. Uh, I just don't want to make this permanent yet. In in a future model, I will put a hopper on here and maybe even a vibrating mechanism, so the hopper maybe comes off to the side, and uh, and it just vibrates in at a, at a regular pace. And that's another thing we can adjust adjust is how quickly it feeds in. I don't yet know how the feed rate affects the, uh, the suction here. If I put too much in here and there's too much in here, uh, what is that going to do? But it seemed that that was working fairly well. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that again because that's the first time I've seen that working fairly well. So we can see <laughs> that something is happening here. So this little cow, this, this fills up here. And so, you know, and I've got a pretty good amount of seed in this bucket here. So I may be losing like 10 to 15%. Now, one of the things I'm trying to do here is in, increase the seed quality by doing this. And the theory would be that my smaller, lighter seed isn't as, as good of quality. Uh, it maybe has less endosperm, so it doesn't store as well, or it doesn't germinate as vigorously. So if I want to test that now, like one thing I'm doing is just sort of looking and, and thinking to myself, do I see uh, more uniform seed in here? Do I see smaller seed in here? Um, and it's hard to tell just by looking. I still see, so I do definitely still see some variability in seed size here. And when I look in here, it looks to me like there's some pretty big seed in there actually still. So um, the test would be actually that bigger seed might not be as good of seed. And so now what I could do is I could take a sample from here, uh, 50 or 100 seeds, soak them and put them in paper towel and germinate them and then do a germ count and do the same thing here. 
And so while the seed here may appear in many ways to be the same uh, quality because it's the same size, what, what it would show is that, well, actually, it may be the same size, but it's lighter and isn't as vigorous or might have other issues. So this, uh, that seed actually just gets trapped in there. And in order to get it out, there's just a little door on the bottom here. And I can open that up. And maybe what I will do, let's see if I can do this gracefully. Luckily, this uh, unit's not too, too heavy, a little awkward, but. You know, please note, it's still a prototype, so I'm working on a few issues here. It will have a stand for it, I'm just using a pair for now. That was not graceful at all, but it gets it out of there. And so looking at this, so I do see some very, very like thin seed in here. But if I was to look at this versus what I've got here, I'd be like, ah, like I can't really see a difference. So another thing I could do is maybe turn down the suction. So it's definitely just getting the lighter seed. Uh, my feed rate might need to be adjusted a bit. Um, there's a lot of things that I could kind of look at. So a lot of seed is definitely falling through, but it's hard to tell why this seed uh, gets sucked up as it does. So, yeah, I'm going to play around a little bit, do a few other things. Uh, I won't make you sit through that, but hopefully that was some good insight into how these work. And uh, once I get to know the machine a little better, hopefully I can give you a little bit of a better tutorial about, uh, about how to uh, adjust things to get the best uh, results in the end. All right.